Hey guys, welcome to our new sewing channel called Inside the Hem. I'm Abby. Amber. I'm Lindsay. And we created this channel because we all met together through sewing. Um, and we all really love sewing. So we want to share with you how much we love sewing and lots of things that we've made and tips and tricks we found out along the way. So we wanted to start with just a way for you guys to get to know us, our personalities. So we've all thought of some secret questions and we put them inside this little basket. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just gonna take them out and share and see how it goes. Exactly. Right. Who's first, me? You can no, go. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'll go first. Hopefully I get one of my own questions because oh, I know the answer is <laughs> All right, it says, what was your biggest sewing fail and what did you learn from it? This is one of mine. <laughs> really? Yeah, I wrote that too. Really? <laughs> I think. Well, that's my favorite. Is it? No, it's not. Is it? We wrote the same thing. I, I even though what did you learn? The same way. Yes. That's, that's hilarious. True. Okay. Anyways. Biggest sewing thing. Oh God, this is so tough because there's been so many. Yeah. There's actually kind of been a lot, especially in the beginning. I remember, and you guys might remember this from when we were taking sewing class together. Um, there was this skirt that I saw on Pinterest and it was a pleated skirt and in the center pleat on the inside it was an alternate fabric and I thought how hard could that be and so I took it to sewing class and asked the instructors on how to make it they're like yes this is easy we can do it in no time no that thing was a nightmare was that the yellow polka dot no it no. was green and white chevron and then pink and white in the center but it was because I was trying to do the pleats and interline it there was the the main fabric and then the interline fabric and all of the pleating and so at in the pleats there were sometimes like eight fabrics six or eight fabrics together anyway so I imagine that going through your machine oh yeah it was awful and the way <laughs> it sat it was so heavy it didn't sit upright anyways i think that probably what i learned from that was just that not all ideas are good ideas and <laughs> You should just abandon ship early instead of continuing to try and force something to work that's just not, not supposed to work. Yeah. But yeah, that was... Well, I think now you know what's a good idea and what... And now I could probably yeah. make that skirt. Um, I should I should try. That would be fun. This is what was your first sewing project? <laughs> okay, um... um <laughs> <laughs> My first sewing project, I think the first one, when I got interested in sewing again besides like when I did little stuff when I was a kid um was a tank top and I traced a tank top that I had from the store and decided I was gonna use that as a pattern I only had some random fabric because I hadn't even been like fabric shopping yet so I had some random fabric and I put it together um, I didn't know how to do darts though, mm -hmm. and so it has no darts, so it's really tight in the chest and doesn't fit well. Mm -hmm. um, but I was really, um, I wanted to try and do everything, mm -hmm. <laughs> so it has French seams and it was, oh, wow. it was by Amber. Amber. This first sewing project it's has so French Amber. seams. So yeah, <laughs> French seams and bias down neck and arm holes. I want to see and that first tank top. It's funny. <laughs> we should do that. We'll do an episode where we're all going to bring in our first, first project. I think I still have it. It didn't go to Goodwill yet. <laughs> mine might be there a Goodwill. Be. I'm trying to remember. I still have mine, but yeah. I do still have mine. I, I just saw it the other day because I cleaned out my closet. But yeah. I'll bring the first oldest thing. thing that I have. But yeah, I have no qualms about <laughs> donating <laughs> bad projects. Yeah, me too. Yeah. So cute. Nice. Very good. Very cute. Your turn. Do you like to sew for others or just for yourself and why? I like to sew for my mom. She really, I, it just feels good because she's, I, she likes it. She's excited about it. And she makes me feel good about it. <laughs> um, I like to sew cute little kids clothes. I find that fun. I like picking out all the fabric. Um, I do not like sewing for anybody else but that for myself. Um, I have sometimes at work people ask me if I can hem their pants, and I just, I'm sorry, I rarely hem my own pants, so I'm not going to hem your pants, so that would be it. Mom, me, 
cute little kid. <laughs> in that order. Yes. Cute. Well, me, mom. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised she didn't say Piper, the dog. Well, mm -hmm. she just gets both. both. So that does count. Pretty I think simple. So too. <laughs> Oh, I'm not even kidding. I'm not Who's even kidding. This is my version, That's your version of the last question I already okay, answered. Okay, you have to pick another one. But what are the chances? Again. There's like a gazillion questions in there. Okay, let's keep that one. Wait, we don't want to just keep talking about Lindsay's fail. <laughs> I know, I can talk about another fail if you want. There's, there's a lot. Um, okay, this is another one of my questions. But if you could only sew one garment for the rest of your life, what would it be and why? I wrote that same question. Did you? <laughs> yes. Did Something you do? <laughs> Similar. Maybe. We're not, so, we're not so different after <laughs> all, okay. I guess. Um, so I would probably, oh gosh, this is tough. I'm torn between yoga pants, <laughs> for obvious reasons, <laughs> and dresses. I feel like we live in Charleston, South Carolina, mm -hmm. and it's ridiculously hot here in the summer, very humid too. Um, and you really just can't wear anything but dresses in the yeah. summer. Um, well, really, probably six months out of the year, would you say you wear a dress every day? Yeah, the summer is. Yeah, forever. brutal. Um, so, you know, you need a lot of variety. I feel like I kind of do wear dresses every day mm -hmm. of my life. But, um, so, yeah, I think dresses are the most fun, too, also because so it's an, already an outfit. You know, yes. you don't have to worry about matching. Yeah, I think a yeah. lot of times um, when we make our own clothes, the fabrics are so unique. Like, when you go in a store, they have very planned out fabric selections where they have coordinates, they have things that match. Um, but when you go in a fabric store, it's not like that. Um, so you might make a top, and then all you can wear it is with, with his jeans. jeans yeah. Um, so I think that's why I like dresses too, because it's like a whole complete outfit and you don't have to think about it anymore. Definitely. Mm -hmm. But also yoga pants. <laughs> You'd get bored with yoga pants. I'd be comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> what is your favorite type of fabric and why? I think I wrote this one. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you only have four questions? Three. And we've already gone over two of them? That's funny. No, well, we've gone okay. through all three of them. Oh, all three? Okay. <laughs> Um, I think there would be a difference between my favorite type of fabric to sew versus my favorite type to wear yes. or to buy. Mm -hmm. Like, favorite fabric to buy would be like a gorgeous printed silk, mm -hmm. um, not a chiffon, but like a charmeuse or mm -hmm. a crepe. Yeah. So then my favorite type to sew with would be um, a knit, because I can just run it through my serger really mm -hmm. quick and have a top in an afternoon mm -hmm. or um i also love sewing with denim now it's kind of addicting and it um it doesn't shift around <laughs> it, it it is you have to try so um yeah that's our favorite types of fabric what's your favorite part of the sewing process that is easy for me i have a fabric obsession i love fabric i love looking at fabric i love buying fabric <laughs> um I have a lot of fabric, but I guess for me that's also a problem too that I love fabric so much is because I buy something that I love and I have the hardest time committing to sewing it. Um, I'm just afraid I'm going to pick the wrong project, it's not going to live up to all my expectations, so love fabric. <laughs> Alright, oops. Let's hope it's not a repeat. Let's see. What is one goal for your sewing this year? Oh, that's an Amber question, right? Yeah. <sighs> Amber. Well, I did make a sewing goal, and it was to um, either like learn a new technique or like watch a new craftsy class or something, but try and absorb something new and different. I think a lot of times it's easy for us to, especially after doing it for so long, to say that we can sew anything, but I think learning different ways to sew things or um, maybe realizing that you know you could sew something better than, than mm -hmm. what you already do. So, um, you know, Crossy is a great resource for that. They have tons of videos, um, even just a whole, like a whole series of classes about how to do different hems or how to do mm -hmm. different um, seam finishes. Mm -hmm. So little things like that are probably what, what my sewing goal would be for this year like every month maybe take a new class 
That's pretty ambitious. And yeah, I've got three of them I've never finished. Yeah, and maybe also, I do, in my planner every week, is so sad. In my planner every week, I put in finish a work in progress and sew something new. I swear to God, I've sewn something new every week and yeah. I haven't touched a work in progress. Yeah. They're the toughest. Yeah. <laughs> I think because you stop them for a reason. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And something better comes along. Yeah. <laughs> yep. What time of day do you prefer to sew and in small chunks of time or marathon sewing sessions? That's hard to say. Marathon, marathon sewing <laughs> sessions. Marathon <laughs> sewing sessions. That is tough. Okay. Um, I'm definitely the night owl. I like to stay up, especially if I have like a Friday night or a Saturday night when I don't have anything going on. I like to stay up until like 2 a.m. or Whoa. so. Um, sewing because then I can just keep going and I like it when it's dark and it and that's the marathon so mm -hmm. session like I feel like if I only have a small chunk of time I don't really I don't get, get enough done I don't get mm -hmm. in the groove I'd rather like just keep working so you know I forget what time it is I forget to eat you know yeah. <laughs> so yeah. yeah I think we all know that I do start to make mistakes though so I think toward the end of last year I started saying Put it down. You gotta, yeah, yeah. You gotta have a limit to the marathon, otherwise you're like cross-eyed and making stupid yeah. mistakes mm -hmm. too. I mean, mm -hmm. I can tell if I'm still in the zone or if I'm like, don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. So, so yeah, yeah. Good one. Okay. Last question. Um, last question. Last question. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's a good one. What was the first garment you ever sewed? Uh, my first garment I made was actually when I first started sewing I um it was really spur of the moment I have summers off with my job I'm a speech therapist at an elementary school so I had the summer off and I was getting maybe a little bit bored and um, so suddenly I decided to google sewing lessons in Charleston South Carolina I really have no idea where it came from and a little shop popped up five eight seams um I bought a sewing machine the next minute and signed up for a class that's just the basics you bring your machine in the box and they help you set it up and you go from there. So the next class was Sewing 101 and I walk in and I'm like, all right, what project do you want to make? And I'm like, a dress. And they were all for it. So, um, so they helped me pick out fabric and a dress and it was the Colette Hazel dress. And I picked a seersucker, perfect for Charleston in the summer. And that dress is actually very wearable. Um, I don't wear it that often anymore. I just kind of got bored with it because I get a little finicky about my clothes. I like to get new clothes, make new things, but Colette Hazel, first item was a dress. <laughs> Ew, that's a good story. Yeah. I didn't know it was so random. It was like just that. out of nowhere. Don't I don't know where it came from. Funny, funny. Yeah. All right, I guess I'm going to wrap this up. Sure. Thanks so much for getting to know us a little bit. And, of mm -hmm. course, we would like to get to know you guys as well. Do you want to end with one question for the audience? One and question for the audience. Oh, that's a good Draw idea. Draw one for you guys. Let's see if it's a good Perfect. one. Okay. Um, this says, where do you find your inspiration for your sewing project? So that's Great what we question. want to know from you guys. Where do you find your inspiration for your sewing projects? Put it in the comments below. Um, we would love to hear from you. Don't forget to um, click the subscribe button uh, so you never miss an upload. And if you want to know when the next uploads are coming, you can always follow us on our social accounts. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. So until next time, see y'all later. Bye. Bye.